get right to Tony Perkins. He is the president of the Family Research Council. On Monday, the FRC and other groups put an ad in USA Today. They urged the Boy Scouts to keep the ban on gays. Nice to see you. Thank you for talking with us, uh, Tony. So list for me the reasons why you do not uh, support lifting this ban. Well, we support the Scouts in the position that they've taken. And for a f 103 years, they have been helping boys make that journey from uh, adolescence uh, ch and childhood into adulthood. And, and they've, they've had a very basic uh, code, a code of honor, a code of uh, duty, and a code of uh, a morality. They, uh, they want to hold that, and, and they have every right to do that as a private organization, and we encourage them to do that. That's why 69% uh, of their troops are sponsored by churches, because their values are in line with uh, many within the faith community. Well, some of those in the faith community would support lifting the ban, and, and I, I'm curious to know if there's a possibility that, that you're wrong on this particular core value. As you know, historically, there have been core values that, in retrospect, turned out to be flawed. Women uh, who are, I remember when I was in school, if you were a, a, a teacher and you were pregnant, they removed you from the classroom, right? It was considered morally inappropriate to have a pregnant woman at one point teaching students. Uh, blacks to serve in the military. You and I have dis discussed this before. That was considered morally problematic. How come that doesn't fall into the same kind of guidelines? Well, we're talking about uh, comparing immutable characteristics with characteristics that uh, are not immutable. And, and first, the, the, the Boy Scouts have had a, a, a long history of struggling with an issue of protecting the boys. In fact, last, uh, last fall, uh, they were forced by the court to release uh, about 15,000 pages that uh, uh, identified 1,900 uh, predators within the Boy Scouts. And so, they've, they've, in part, their policy has been to protect boys, to create, obviously, not the, uh, the, a perfect environment, but one that uh, is in line with what the parents want to ensure that their children are safe when they go out and so let's uh, go, go back in to these that. scouting let's activities. Let's go back to that. That's a time between 1970 and 1991, those specific documents called the perversion files, as you know. Scouts didn't allow gays. So there's a sense, and I, and, and I feel like, isn't well, that indication in and of itself? You're, you're absolutely that, right. So, so my, my point would be, if you're to, why would it make a difference to open up scouting to people who are gay? You, well, certainly, you, I mean, you you the question the scouts should be asking. In the Boy Scouts, uh, you know, obviously, as we've seen through these documents. Oh, a absolutely. You're, you're, you're correct. I mean, as I said, they, they have not been able to create, create the perfect environment, but they've been doing what they can, and they've had to pay out millions of dollars as a result of that. Th the question they need to ask is, will this help us accomplish our mission as Boy Scout, as the Boy Scout leaders, and will this make for a safer environment for the, the children under our watch care? I don't think they can say that. Why would so I it think not? The, this, the, the, the reason not? they've had this... Well, well, first off, I mean, look, this doesn't pass the parent test. I mean, you've got, you're going to let leaders okay, come in who test? are attracted to males. Well, parent, if, okay, I'm a parent. I have five children. I have three daughters. Now, my, uh, my heterosexual uh, neighbor, man, like him, good guy, got kids of his own. But I'm not going to let him go camping with my girls. Uh, why would I let a man who is attracted to other males go camping with my boys? But a pedophile, it doesn't pass you the know, test. That's why last July, that's why at last July, children. after... Uh, so, so that uh, last July, after the, the Boy Scouts did a two-year study of this issue, the overwhelming opinion of stakeholders, parents, troop leaders was, let's not change the policy, and that's exactly what the Scouts did. But Let, you're certainly not saying... Just a little over saying, six months ago. Are you saying that you're, someone who's gay is, is a pedophile? Sir? No, I never said that. You well, said then, that. I so, didn't. No, I, I, I'm asking you a question because you're saying that you. I'm saying that be worried they're trying to create an environment that is protective of the children. This doesn't make it more protective. So, there is a disproportionate number of uh, male on boy uh, pedophilia. When, when we get into pedophilia, it's male on boy. There's a higher incent, uh, incident rate of that. But we've never said all homosexuals are pedophiles or all pedophiles are homosexuals. That, that, that's not what we said. But then why would someone that. like Jennifer but Tyrell, this right, doesn't who's a make lesbian, it, and, and Tyrell just the leaders sold it. It's also a, a den mother. I mean, she'd be a perfect example of of of, of contradicting your very point, sir. But see, we d you don't make you don't make 
policies and you don't set standards based upon one situation or another situation. This is not just about scout leaders. It would be about scouts that are attracted to people of the same sex. Is that right for uh, Boy Scouts who are out wanting to learn uh, the basic tenets of scouting to have to worry about whether or not the, 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 the boy in the tent with them uh, is attracted to them? Is that right? I mean, look, the, these folks that want to do that, they're free to set up their own organization. Do you Why worry? do they want to come in and change an organization that's been around for over a hundred years and make that organization those parents and those scouts accommodate them because they think it's discriminatory it would be I think the answer that they would give you to that my final question for you do you, do you worry you're on the wrong side of history on this I mean again when you tick off sort of no, the changes that we've seen at, at some point do you think that you're gonna look up and say we were on the wrong side on this debate that, that, that this was an organization that that ultimately stood for discriminating against some people don't you worry about that for over for over a hundred years, the Boy Scouts have been helping uh, men, boys make this journey into manhood. And the question before the Scouts is: Are are, are we going to continue in our mission, and are we going to provide the the safest environment possible for these boys, or are we going to cave in to corporate dollars? That's the question before the board today. We'll see how the board uh, votes on it. Tony Perkins, nice to have you with us. Always appreciate your time. Thank you.